Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we're going to look into GenCoin in the upcoming hard fork, uh, which as of the taping of this video is going to be tomorrow. See you in a bit. All right, so GenCoin, let's take a look at what it is real quick. Here's the uh, website. Um, GenCoin was created to act as a masternode facilitating coin, mine it, trade it, store it, but most importantly, use it to pay for your masternode hosting and monitoring. So it's just a um, blockchain project that makes it easy for other coins, other projects to host masternodes, um, get masternodes going. It's been around for a while. Um, some information on it, 76 cents, market cap 4 million, um, circulating supply, et cetera, et cetera. Um, here's the Bitcoin talk. I already zoomed into this page. Um, basically, master nodes update. Where are we at? Update procedures, nodes to be hosted on Gen platform. You got to download the new wallet for this fork. Uh, this is a mandatory mandatory update for all exchanges, mining pools, node runners, and local wallets before the 15th, 4 p.m. GMT, which uh, 4 p.m. GMT to Eastern, where I'm at, is 11 a.m. So 11 a.m. tomorrow morning, um, this is supposed to take place. So what I went ahead and did is got everything set up, ready to go uh, on both my AMD and NVIDIA rigs. And I figured some of you guys out there would um, want to do the same, be ready for it. So this video is going to be showing you how to do that. So first we're going to need our wallet. I downloaded, where are we at right here? Windows, GenCoin Core, Windows 1.1, 64-bits. What I did, because it's just a uh, full install, they do have Linux and Max versions right there. Um, so here I am on my AMD rig, and this is what it looks like when you download it. When you double click on it, it'll um, open up, sync with the blockchain, and that'll take a little bit. I think it's like a year behind, 52 weeks or something like that, if I remember right. Um, but this is what it looks like when it's open. Um, you just click on receive, and you can see I've already got my NVIDIA mining rig address, which... I was just going to mine it for NVIDIA, but I'm actually going to be mining both rigs to the same address, but, you know, whatever. Uh, label, put whatever you want on to say mining, and request payment, and there's your address you're going to need right there. So click close. So I'll show you both miners. Um, I believe it's Wild Rig, if I'm not mistaken. Again, all these links will be down below. For, um, for the miners, the wallets, and everything. And both bat files will be down below as well. So yeah, here's Wild Rig. This should be for AMD, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Vega, yep, AMD. So let's go back over here, miners folder. I can't, of course, run it because it is not live yet, but I'll at least show you. So I downloaded the um, Wild Rig and I unzipped it. And I just named it Wild Rig right here, 15.3.8. So let's open it. And here's the run.bat file, which I'll show you real quick. Um, again, this is going to be down below this video, and it'll say um, Wild Rig AMD uh, Miner, something to that effect. But again, just copy and paste that. The only thing you're going to need to change is the pool if you want to, and obviously your wallet address right there you'll need to change so speaking of pools right now um, where are we at gosh I think I got rid of it anyways here's all, a bunch of the pools I haven't gone through all of these and see which ones are going to be updating or not one that I know of is a uh, Goss CX which I've mined to before and I think it'll say right here where is it at x16r yeah, GenCoin right here, that will be the port um, for tomorrow, more than likely. It's not official on our pool yet. Let me go over to, 
icemining.ca and over here this is the pool I have in my um, bat file for both of them icemining.ca that's the port and it'll see right here port 4550 launch February 15 4 p.m. GMT which is 11 a.m. Eastern so at 11 a.m. tomorrow theoretically everything goes right you should be able to double click on <clears throat> that guy right there and the miner should pull up and connect to that port on this pool and you should be good to go so I'm gonna hop over real quick and show you the um, NVIDIA miner which is pretty close but I'll, I'll show you what it is alright so let me go down here here we are on the NVIDIA rig now crypto dredge miner for the NVIDIA rig go into here and I've already got both these uh, set up like I said so tomorrow roughly 11 a.m. I can just go right in uh, remotely to both rigs and voila should be up and working once I click on the miners so again ice mining.ca same port only thing you're going to need to do here change the pool obviously if you want to and mainly just change the um whoops just change your hello just change your uh, wallet address right here which we got from the uh, wallet that I showed you earlier um, so that should in theory be all you should have to do tomorrow morning or uh, where whatever time is going to be wherever you all are watching from um, 11 a.m. Eastern or 4 p.m. GMT just figure that out in whatever time zone you're in uh, and then you would just double click on the run that bat file right there and it should should pull up and start mining if there are no problems um, like I said here's a bunch of different pools this will also be down in the uh, description below so you can maybe you got a favorite pool on here you like and I don't know if again if they're going to be supporting the fork as of yet but they should I would imagine but anyways guys I think I think that's all that you need to know for the fork tomorrow. Um, again, they're forking off of uh, was it Lyra Two Rev? I think is what it is. If I'm not mistaken, they're forking off to get away mainly. I think from the uh, FPGAs, from what I read somewhere, and they're going to X16RT. So hopefully it goes flawlessly. Hopefully we can get in early enough. That's why I kind of another reason I did this video. So you guys can get ready to go for tomorrow. Get in early enough when the difficulty is obviously going to be really low when it starts. And hopefully we can get a bunch of coins, you know, within the first 15 minutes, half hour, hour or so. And of course, then the difficulty will go back up. But I don't think it will go back up as high, obviously, as it was before. Because uh, the FPGAs will not be on there. So anyways, guys. That's going to be it for today's video. If you guys have any questions or comments, put them down below. Um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you're new here, be, again, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And uh, with that, guys, I'll see you, uh, see you in a new one. See you in the next one. Bye.